Hello everyone, this is Mark with EarthquakeWatchers.com and today is still March the 30th, 2013 and we're going into the first uh, here, uh, actually the 31st and uh, it's pretty late, it's uh, getting close to midnight central time. I wanted to talk about this because all this earthquake activity that we've been having over the past couple of days uh, seems to be coinciding with what I've been talking about before and that's space weather. So let's go to spaceweather.com and take a look at the latest update. Solar flare causes a rare magnetic uh, crocket. I guess uh, I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope. On March 29th at 17.52 UT, the magnetic canopy of sunspot AR2017 erupted producing a brief but intense X1 class solar flare. And those of you know, the X class flares are pretty dangerous. Now, the NASA uh, SOHO has discovered the information posted on the website, posted here on spaceweather.com. And it says here, the explosion hurled a CME into space. The bulk of the CME is sailing north of the Sun East or Sun Earth line, but there appears to be a faint Earth directed component that could deliver a glancing blow to the Earth's magnetic field between April 1st and April 2nd and it gives more information here you can check that out on your own but the recent space weather activity is going to start up again I think we need to watch the Sun real close I'm a big believer in the Sun causing uh, changes in our earthquake behavior with the magnetic fields on the planet Earth nobody really knows how the magnetic field works it's just a guess uh, the magnetic field we do know, however, that the magnetic field does protect us somewhat from the solar radiation and the solar storms. But its connection between the sun and us is something that I'm concerned about with the recent earthquake activity popping up in different locations. I believe it's something that needs to be looked at. Uh, of course, nobody really believes in a theory such as that but I know a lot of you people that have been watching me do believe in such a thing and we keep watch on all the earthquake activity not just the middle earthquake activity that's been happening but I'm going to load up earthquake 3D here and you'll see the earthquake activity in the United States in our own hometown has increased tremendously over the past few weeks this is down in the past seven days and of course we're looking at the United States. Uh, Dutch Sense usually talks about the Craton and we're looking at the Craton we're seeing earthquakes in Oklahoma, earthquakes in Wyoming, the National Park in Yellowstone, 4.8 folks. I haven't been able to retrieve the seismographic readers from the USGS website yet for the updated information. If I can get them I'll try to do a video on that tomorrow. But the earthquakes in Oklahoma are continuing to be uh, increasing and as far as the number of earthquakes and of course the Yellowstone earthquakes, the California earthquakes, the 5.1 we had the other day, that's something we need to keep a very close watch on. And in the next few months I'm going to keep the sign on condition yellow to watch these particular hotspots in California, the Yellowstone National Park, including Alaska that's been continuing to show a major sign of earthquake activity all across the Alaskan area and that's something that I'll be watching very close. So if you don't listen to WAI you definitely listen want to listen to that. They were talking about them building lasers uh, to protect us from incoming missiles, things like that. Crazy stuff. But again folks this is something to keep a very close watch on on the earthquake activity. I'm going to actually do the global earthquake update tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to do that tonight but I'll definitely do that tomorrow and go over a lot of major hot spots that we need to keep watch on. This is something that is breaking news with this X1 class solar flare that we need to keep a very close watch on the actual sunspots. Once again, folks, I want to thank everybody for watching. Stay alert, be cool, and have a nice day.